guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Fingers Crossed. So if you don't know what Fingers Crossed is, it's actually a series where I try out really interesting or hyped up mostly Asian beauty products. So today's product is actually Fujiko's Bon Bon Powder, which is actually a volumizing and texturing hair powder that you apply onto your scalp that helps to essentially create volume in your hair. I was really interested to try this product because it's actually for people whose hair gets greasy in the afternoon and that is totally me. Like right now it's in the afternoon and my hair is so flat and a bit oily at the roots and it's just, ugh, it's so gross, I can't take it. Um, and it also says that you can use it for other needs such as if you want to prevent a smelly scalp. I think that's, I, I don't know why, I don't think my scalp smells but you know, sure. Um, if you can't wash your hair, you can also use this product. So kind of like a dry shampoo but a volumizing powder at the same time. So opening it up, first impressions are it's really compact. I think it's definitely meant for you to pop it into your makeup pouch or your handbag and then you know halfway through the day if your hair gets limp or really greasy, you can use it immediately. And this texture over here of the applicator is really similar to um, the hair shadow cushion from Mamonde that I tested out. I'll link it right here if you guys want to see it. So I've adjusted the camera slightly so that you can see the top of my scalp as I zoom in later. Um, and basically all I have to do is use the applicator to apply the product on areas where my hair is sticky, which is this part over here. And I'm just gonna apply it. Don't... Is it coming out? It took a while to come out but I can see the product now. And then you're just supposed to massage it. It almost looks like a dry shampoo in my opinion. I'm going to try and do it. Oh, my hair is a mess. Is it white over here? The thing with dry shampoos is that it's always like, it makes your hair look grey. But this one says that it's supposed to be transparent. Okay, I definitely feel a different texture. I'm gonna flip to this side where there is where my hair is also oily and try. If you can see it really you really can't see the product coming out. I can't I can even barely see it. I'm gonna give this side a try to just see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna try this side also. The only thing is that because I can't really see how much product I'm putting because it's so light, I don't know what is the appropriate amount, so I'm just going based on my feel. <laughs> I'm actually going over it to do it one more time. So this is how it looks. I definitely think there's a difference. I'm going to put in a side-by-side -side comparison so that you guys can decide for yourself. Well, I know they actually don't talk about how long this potentially can last, but I think it's really important because you don't want it to just be done for like five minutes and bam, your hair is back to being flat again and you have to touch up again. So I'm going out for about four hours soon and then I'll check back then to see how well this has lasted. It's about 10 p.m. now. I've had the product on for about five to six hours already and I think it actually held up quite well in that five to six hours. Right now, I can definitely feel that it's starting to get oily again like my hair. But if I do tease it a little like what I've done, it still can look kind of volumized, like at least better than if I wasn't using the product at all. And I think the bottom line with this product is really it functions like a dry shampoo, but a portable dry shampoo that you can use easily because of the small size of it that you can just pack it in your bag. And I like the fact that you actually don't get to see any of the powdery things. So it is really light. Even when I tried to show you guys on my hand, like how the pro product will actually look. I actually couldn't get it much on camera just because it's so light and if, when you put it on your head you actually can't see it at all but you definitely feel it as you massage your scalp and massage the product into your hair. So that is one aspect of the product that I really liked because I think with dry shampoos, especially powdered dry shampoos, there's always that grey residue or like white or grey residue that is left on your hair and it's, it just does not look pretty. So I do like that this one really dissolves and you can't see it and it still works. In terms of volumizing, I think what it does best is actually creating a base where you can volumize your hair. Just because I think its strength is in the fact that it can absorb sebum really well and it helps to keep your hair no longer greasy. And from there you can just start to use your fingers to you know make it a bit bouncier and more volumized. 
So if you guys have tried this product, please let me know as well because it could be different for some people. And if you guys know any similar products, please let me know as well. I'm really into this hair volumizing dry shampoo thing recently because my hair has just been a mess since I've come back to Singapore where the humidity is crazy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like this video please remember to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you know when a new video is out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye